I identify whatever the artist would tell me. When I would interview artists, sometimes even non-spoken words, I mean, it was just that delicate. It was just that obvious to me because I've been there already and I saw it so many times and I would almost fill in the sentences for them. And I've, been, I've made grown men cry <laughs> because they could not believe they had such a hard time. It's just like, you know, going to a lawyer or a doctor and they say, oh yeah, I have this friend, you know, and they would come to me and they say, yeah, I have this friend. And so they want to know what do you have to do to show here? And, and I would just kind of look at them, you know, and I could spot on, I said, are you the artist? And I would catch them so off guard that they, you know, just by their reaction, that's a yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I recall one time, um, and this is a, a, a story that I share with many, um, but it was a very, uh, it's an effective uh, story uh, that uh, uh, a man probably in his 50s, mid 50s came. Um, uh, I was in my office and it was very busy day. I recall it was very, very busy. Um, I had a meeting going on of artists. I had, I had a show coming up. Uh, so I had like three or four artists in, in, in the office. I was on the phone with the printer from the, for the next, uh, for the coming up show, you know, going to print and dealing with the printer every month was always, you know, make sure you get it right, this and that. And so kind of just so I remember I was on the phone and all these people are talking and things and we're just kind of trying to get through things and I hear this really soft knock at my door and I almost wanted to say to myself, just ignore it, you know, whoever's not knock knocking out loud enough, it must not be that important, right, or something. <laughs> I got a little, you know, like, like, who is it now? You know, I'm really busy right now and anyway. I went and opened the door, you know, I said, okay, somebody's being a little persistent here, even though it was a really soft knock. I opened the door, literally, I mean, just stuck my head out just to see, and I'm on the phone, I said, oh, excuse me, just one moment. I go, yes, may I help you? And, and, um, and here's this man, you know, and, and he just really, just very softly, he says, oh, he said, um, I just wanted to know what you do here, and, I don't know, I have this friend, you know, wants to know. And that's when I told him, I said, well, are you the artist? And he was <laughs> kind of shocked. And, and I said, I said, can you give me 10 minutes? I said, I need to finish my phone call. I have some people in here. I'd like, we're wrapping up. I said, have a seat right here or take the liberty of looking around. I said, and I'll be, I promise you, I will be right with you. But give me about 10 minutes. I said, don't leave be right with you. He said, oh, okay. So, I mean, you know, sometimes they stay, sometimes they just take off, whatever. Well, he stayed. And then, as busy as I was that day, because I had deadlines to meet, and I had a lot of follow-up to do after my meeting, and all this sort of thing, because sometimes I would work there till 7, 8, 9 o'clock, depending what I had to finish. Meeting a deadline was meeting the deadline, period. So, um, he winded up staying there about two and a half hours. And I took him through everything, like the gallery, explained to him what we do there. I really showed him the whole nine yards, interviewed him, talking about, and he was in question. He had done some creative uh, projects before. He had a background in art. But it kind of fizzled out, and it was more through a work experience that he had this. And um, and I said, well, you're still that artist. I said, so, uh, I said, are you still painting? What are you doing? And he said, well, yes, but he felt that he didn't have the same motivation. And I said, well, that's because you're you're doing it all alone. I said, uh, uh, when, you're, when you're isolated like that, you ha it's hard to to get motivate, motivated to do things. I mean, it, you you know, you really need to be inspired by something, something to really stimulate that, you know, that charging you about doing art, you know, and 
And I said, well, and I always told every artist that came in I interviewed, I said, well, let me tell you, I said, uh, you know, uh, what's very key here is uh, being active and being a participant in the arts. I go, and by that I mean is that you need to be involved in a group of artists. I said, do you have friends that are other artists or anyone that you dialogue with or that you know that you maybe visit each other and, and talk about your work or anything like that? And he says, no, not really. And I said, well, then you're very isolated. I said, you need to come here, come join us. I said, that's why we're here. I go, because this is where artists congregate. I go, this is where people get inspiration. This is where, you know, you really feel, you get the feel, you get your charge here, you know. I said, and that's what, I think that's what you're lacking. I said, so that's why you're in question about this one. So I was like, again, psychologically, I treat them like my patients, you know. <laughs> I said, um, you know, I go, uh, you know, if you start doing this, believe me, things will change for you. Because it's worked for many others. And he started to come around. And then I would involve him in, in, in activities because he did all these other little creative things, you know, kind of doing things on his own. He, he didn't know what to do. Sometimes people are lost. They don't have a direction. They have no one to guide them. They, they're not sure of what to do next. They don't know how to challenge themselves. And a lot of times the challenge was what I would do is say, well, let me put you in a show. That'll give you, that'll get you going. You know, come and be part of our monoprint. Uh, you want to do a monoprint? Have you ever, do you know that medium? Come become part of, uh, you want to take etching or woodblock or anything like that? Have you ever done printmaking before? And a lot of them will, no, not really, or maybe a little bit or whatever. I go, well, come on in. Come join the class. I go, it, it, they were very affordable. It was really geared for the, for the community artist. And it was, and you were, you know, around so many creative people and creative thinkers and and um, and that's what usually was my whole spiel with that but um, that was where I got most of my gratification was helping people and support them and believe in them when 